Hi, this is Dave Taylor again, and this time I want to talk about the Epson PictureMate PM400. That's this guy. And honestly, as color printers go, this is pretty darn small and light. So let's open it up and have a look. So it's all very nicely self-contained. I'm going to flip it around, and it does need power. So let's plug it in. Uh, there's a power plug on the side here somewhere. There it is. I'll tilt up the screen so you can see what's going on and let's power it up. And while it's powering up, I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of paper in. So let's grab a piece of 4x7 glossy print paper. Uh, and I'll talk about the price of all this stuff in a minute, but let's just get this ready to go because I want you to see it actually printing. Okay, so we're ready to go. And now what I want to do is off my phone, and this actually, I'm using the um, AirPrint here, but it also does Wi-Fi, um, it does Wi-Fi Direct, it does Epson Connect, which is Epson's own system where you can actually submit print jobs from around the world. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. Um, it reads SD cards on the side here. And of course, you can directly plug it into a computer, Mac or PC. But here's a picture off of the photo album. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on it. Oops. And then on the bottom, on iOS at least, there's a print button. And when I choose that, the Epson's already there. So what I want you to see is how quickly it'll print this 4 by 6 They say 36 seconds. I'm not going to wall clock time it, but you can if you want. So I'm going to push the print button now. Boop. And, okay, so on here it says printing, so now you should be starting your little stopwatch. While that's happening, it's a four color die printer and it prints at a maximum resolution of 5760 by 1440, which is a pretty good dense stuff. Epson says these pictures will last 200 years without fading or otherwise discoloring. I don't really have the time to test that. <laughs> But hey, if it lasts a year or two, that's going to be great. It's really for 4x6 and 5x7, and it can print borderlessly. As you can see in these other pictures that I've printed, um, this one most recently, just from a few minutes ago, um, various pictures. We've been having a lot of fun with this because, of course, it gives you the ability to take pictures on a mobile device and immediately print them. And now you have a nice little montage for your wall, if you are a montage sort of person. Um, what else can I tell you? It, um, they, they now have what they call, um, what do they call them, print packs. And it's kind of a neat idea where you get paper and the ink cartridge, because there's one ink cartridge that has all of the six colors that it's using. And that whole thing ends up being a nice little package. So that's 30 bucks for 100 sheets of 4x6 glossy photo paper and an ink cartridge, which runs to 29 cents a print. You can do the math. And 5x7s, they're bigger, so they sell them separately. They don't sell it as a print pack. Not sure why, but whatever. Um, and those are 20 sheets of 5x7 from Epson, runs you about $5.99 online. So that's about 29 cents a print. But of course, then you also have to deal with the ink cartridge. So here's the issue, and, and we're done, okay? And then here's our print. Uh, I hope you can see that. It's done a very, very nice job. This is as good as I would get from a photo lab. But the wrinkle is price. So here's the sort of the, what, the rubber hits the road or something like that, whatever the cliche is. But here's the thing is that this printer runs about $250. Now, the good news is a $50 rebate right now at Epson.com, so it drops it down to $200. So really, when we talk about how much is it per print and divide it out and it's 29 cents a print and everything, you also have to factor in the cost of the printer itself. So it might be a lot more than 29 cents a print unless you're going to print thousands and thousands of photos. And here's the real sort of reality is that I can go to my local camera place, Mike's Camera, and they have very, very high quality printing systems. I can submit it online and by the time I drive there it's printed. And you know how much those cost for a 4x6? 19 cents. Now a 5x7 gets up to a buck 79. But on the other hand, if you're talking about maybe printing 50 to 100 of those total, 
versus the cost of the printer, this is really where I think Epson has a real challenge, is that you know, any of these sort of home color printer photo printing systems really have a challenge with you amortizing the cost of the printer itself. So if the printer was free, and then all the stuff that you had to get were licensed Epson supplies and everything, then we could talk because then it would be like, yeah, you know, it's a little bit cheaper or maybe it's around the same price. But of course, there's a huge convenience factor. I really like this. I mean, I take this on the road. And so, you know, if I'm with my kids, we can be out and about and printing things and giving them to friends right there on the spot. That's pretty cool. But you know, 200 bucks for the printer, and then another 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks for supplies, it adds up. So here's the thing that you need to figure out for yourself is, is the convenience of printing a really nice color print in 39 seconds worth the cost? I am sort of on the fence with this one myself. Now, it's nice, Epson sent me this printer, so I didn't have to spend 200 bucks on it. But if I had to, I'd really have to think very, very carefully whether the convenience and really the fun of being able to print on demand is offset by the cost over time of all of this hardware. You can learn more at Epson.com or of course you can go to Amazon.com and read reviews. People do love this thing except for the price. And that's just, again, I mean, I, don't, I want to have it be clear, this isn't an Epson problem and this isn't a problem with the PictureMate PM400. This is a problem with the whole world of color photo printers. So, Dave Taylor, and I'll let you figure that out for yourself and I'll see you in my next video.